So. This is my third shine video. I've had some comments from you and you viewers. Uh, one of the number one comments I've gotten was about dust and shine and trying to use dust and shine. So I've looked around so many places for dust and shine and did a little research and dust and shine is actually by Febreze, I think, who makes it. Um, it's discontinued. So when I have looked for it, the can is like $50 or more, <laughs> even on Amazon. So I'm not going to be using Dust and Shine. It is a discontinued product, and I don't think it's very fair also to try and show you guys shine alternatives that don't exist anymore. Um, make your decision and see if these products are worth using on your balloons. So let's get started. And so I just went to the Dollar Tree, actually. I normally don't buy cooking spray from the Dollar Tree, but I was able to get this. It was only $1.25. It is a nonstick cooking spray with uh, with canola oil and it's cholesterol free. So um, sounds good to me. <laughs> so let's test this out. So these balloons I'll have, this is Willow Rose. It's already kind of a matte color to begin with. So the shine that you see on it right now is just from the light. So it's not necessarily a shiny balloon. So we're gonna test this out to see how much more shine I have a, you know, a dollar store tablecloth on the floor. You always want to protect your floor surface when you are using any kind of shine because you don't uh, want your clients or yourself to slip and fall after you're done. So let's see. I'm very, very scared. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm -mm. Okay, so even though this is an aerosol and I do think aerosol shine products are the best rather than um, the balloon shine spray that comes in a more of a spritz type of thing. I don't like this because looking at it, the texture doesn't evenly spread. So obviously this is not for balloons. So I feel like with this specific product, you'd probably have to have a glove and spread it on because it is very drippy. It is very, it doesn't spray evenly like normal aerosols do. I mean, I would say even the hairspray video that I did before, it, it was a better, it was a better texture, better consistency. So we'll put this aside to see the dry, t to see how it dries. But for right now, I'm not a big fan of using cooking spray. Number two, is something that a lot of you may know, which is Pledge. So Pledge is usually used to remove dust. You spray it on a wood surface or, you know, a TV console, what have you. Spray it on, let it sit for a minute, and then you wipe it off with a rag. It's still an aerosol. Um, this I had around the house. It's very, not that much left. So hopefully we get enough to test this out but let's see how this goes on. Oh. <laughs> um, I was not expecting that. Um, yeah, that just like shot out of there. I mean, I shook it, I don't understand. I, I you know, my husband does the dusting, so I really thought it would it was gonna come out like a like hairspray, like shh, you know what I mean? But this is very like it shoots out, like it's really like do you hear that? <laughs> do you? I mean, granted, even though it shoots out that way, it's not drippy, which is weird. So it's so pledge is kind of, I would say it's better than a cooking spray, but it's not drippy. It's a little runny where, you know, I, I initially sprayed, but the other spaces are not as runny, but I still feel like 
it's not light enough. It's still too heavy, like the cooking spray. Like you're just still gonna have to put on a glove, spread it around, and I'm not even gonna try that because, yeah, I don't want anything popping in my face. Now we are going to use Mega Shine on these two internal balloons so you can see the comparison. Now I got this from a local, um, a local balloon store um, that makes um, pinatas and and other. Um, and other party decor things. And so they sell balloons, they sell balloons with helium, or you can just buy balloons, and um, they do balloon arrangements. And so this store has a price tag on it. It's $32. I mean, this is significantly bigger than the other two cans. This is even bigger than the hairspray can. Obviously the hairspray would be cheaper. So I would say hairspray right now is the best alternative to Mega Shine. But I do feel like Mega Shine is still reigns as the number one <laughs> balloon shine spray. And I'm not sponsored to say that. I just, that's just my opinion. So if you can buy it in bulk, great. Because I think they do have two packs online um, where you get an even better deal. So I think 30 bucks if you're going to be doing um, balloon shine. But... Let's spray these. I'm gonna step out, spray these, and then compare. Okay. Okay, so closer together so you can see that so as you can see this is the cooking spray it's been sitting for a while I would say maybe like 10 minutes still has a weird consistency I don't want a chance trying to rub it in because I don't know what it's gonna do to the texture of the balloon and or to the surface of the balloon so i really feel like i don't want it popping in my face which has happened and then this is mega shine so as you can see mega shine still and this has nothing on it so as you can see mega shine still shines your balloons up pretty pretty significantly and i would say even I have this metallic balloon here and so even compared to like the metallic balloon I feel like mega shine gets things a lot shinier even with a metallic balloon like this is metallic teal and it's still shinier than like the metallic teal and then this is on the canyon rose that's mega shine and then this is the it's over here the pledge which is now starting to drip. It's still not dry yet, but still, I don't wanna uh, compromise the surface of the balloon because I feel like that is gonna make it pop and that has happened before, so. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think. If you have any other comments, I really do appreciate you guys having comments and having suggestions for me to test out saying that mega shine is number one so you guys let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one